What is Mac VLAN? Why would you need a Mac VLAN network in Docker? We'll talk about it in this video. Let's dive right in. Well, in the last few videos, we discussed about Docker networking, how bridge networking works, how to configure a host driver on a Docker. So the common problem we have noticed on all this is that external access for the container. Meaning, unless we configure a NAT or a port mapping, the containers on this network won't be accessible from external world. This is exactly what Mac VLAN is trying to solve. So how does it work? Well, in simple term, using Mac VLAN network, each containers can be accessible from external network. So when we set up a Docker network with a Mac VLAN driver, it assigns a unique MAC address to the virtual interface of the container. Then we designate the physical interface on the Docker host with a Mac VLAN driver along with the subnet and gateway. So behind the scene, this makes a Docker container network card part of the host network broadcast domain and connects directly to the physical network. To simply put, containers would get an IP address from the range as the Docker host and external router and essentially reduce the need of the Docker bridge, NAT and port mapping. Now we understand what the Mac VLAN is. Now let's go over and see what are the modes that Mac VLAN operates. Essentially there are two modes Mac VLAN network has. One is the bridge and the other one is a dot one cube. In the bridge mode, all the traffic from the container pass through the main interface on the Docker host to the external world. So you can see in this diagram, we would need to provide the information of your host machine like host interface, subnet, gateway, which connects to the external network. We'll see how to configure them in a minute. In dot one q mode, you can create multiple networks or broadcast domain and the traffic from each network would attach to a sub interface also referred as dot one q tagging. As shown in this diagram, a Mac VLAN 10 is created in dot one q mode, which would carry the traffic from the first two container 1 and 2 and this traffic flow through the bridge towards the host side. And there will be a sub interfaces created on the host as well as on the router to bridge this traffic. Similarly for VLAN 20 traffic and have the Mac VLAN 20 to bridge this traffic to the external network. Now we understand each mode. Let's dive in and see how to configure each network type. Before we proceed, if you are watching my channel first time, please be sure to subscribe. If you got any value from this video, please click the like button below so that the video reaches to more people and helps people to build their tech career. To simplify the Mac VLAN configuration, we are going to divide them into three parts. The first part will create the Mac VLAN network. So to create the network, the subnet and the default gateway of your Mac VLAN network should be mirror that you are a Docker host, which connects to the external network. So to find these details, you can run the ifconfig command on Linux host. In the next step, I will show you how to create a Mac VLAN network. The syntax would be docker network create hyphen d flag to define the driver name. In this case, Mac VLAN. Then the subnet and the gateway values, which you need to match with those docker host network interface. Then specify the parent interface with hyphen o flag, which is your NIC interface on your docker host. To confirm the newly added VLAN network is present, run the docker network ls command. Next, we'll create two containers and attach the Mac VLAN network using the hyphen network option. We will run the first container with nginx image. We have seen this step in the last video, so I will fast forward this. Additionally, let's run the second container. For that, we'll use hyphen IP flag to assign the static IP to avoid IP conflict with your main network. Let's have a look at the docker ps command to see the health of both containers. In the final part, let's try to establish if the containers are accessible from external network. For that, let's find the IP address of the container first. You can view this with a docker inspect with a network name. So here you can see the two containers C1 and C2 attached with the Mac VLAN network. Let's grab the IP address and access this from your desktop. So here you can see the Nginx page is loaded while accessing with both IPs. This is how you can configure the Mac VLAN network in the bridge mode. When it comes to dot one q trunk mode, the traffic flow through the sub interface. Before we wrap up, I'll show you how to configure dot one q network. In this example, we are creating 802.1q trunk 
Mark VLAN network called demo hyphen net hyphen VLAN 10 hyphen Mark VLAN attaching to the Docker host interface with the dot one sub interface and also updating the subnet gateway and parent parameters to match my network. Then you can attach to the sub interface on the external router to bridge this traffic. Once you have the network up and running, we can spin up the new containers on the dot one QVLAN network. I hope this video find you useful. Again, thanks for your time. We'll see you next time with some more exciting topic.